When you drop a cat, it always lands on its feet, somehow. To figure out a cat in motion, it takes a series of fast pictures. To figure out atoms in motion, it's almost the same. A synchrotron takes pictures of atoms with pulses of light. The pulses can be long or short. You can't have both at the same time, but that is about to change. To join them on one beam, extra electrons have to be squeezed into the short pulses, and that needs high voltages and frequencies. To get those, you have to add superconducting cavities to the ring. Sounds simple, but it's not because superconductors are fussy. They like it cool, very cool, and clean, super clean. And while higher voltages make strong short pulses, they also create a lot of unwanted fields that need to be discharged. Plus, the new short pulses are pretty hard on the synchrotron, like hitting a finely tuned bell with a jackhammer. If you're not careful, the whole ring will break. So it's a big challenge, but a big opportunity. To help unlock the mysteries of quantum materials for future information technologies, energy science and much more. With tried and tested long pulses and powerful new short pulses on one ring of light.